Ladies and gents, welcome to the first uh, look and we're going to do a little review of the new Renault Astral. We're in Bulgaria in Sofia Auto Show. So first look, this car looks very impressive in uh, person and it looks very also gorgeous and elegant. I love the new design where Renault is going and it's pretty stylish. So let's come a little bit closer and check the front end. So this does look a lot alike the new Megane E-Tech, excuse me, fully electric. You can see on the side there, but of course we're going to focus on the Astral. And uh, let's check the details. So we have a little chrome going through the sides, give it a little bit of elegancy. Uh, we have the air ending on the bottom and on the top there. And the diamond badge is the radar. Now, if we come a little bit closer, just before we do that, notice the side tunnelings on the side and the beautiful signature of the datum running lights. Now the top part turns into turn signals that are dynamic. So if we check them out, these parts turn into dynamic turn signals and then the rest is your datum running lights. We have a projectors inside on the top and on, on the bottom. So I can imagine that probably the top light is your main beam and then you have the long beam or the integrated fog lights in the main cluster. Now this is probably the top uh, package but we don't have the spec yet, this is a premiere. So we can see some piano black details, there are nice contrasts to this metallic blue color on the bottom as well. So all the way we have the piano black on the bottom, parking sensors here standard and over here you can see the badge that we mentioned is the radar for the cruise distance, emergency braking for pedestrian cyclists. We have the 360 camera on the bottom. And this appears to be also maybe some sort of sensors. So looking gorgeous. Now let's move to the side. Check these alloys. So these are 20 inch diamond cut. These are 235-45 R20. Have gorgeous diamond cut, silver on black. And I love the new badge with the diamond. Now checking on the top we have the camera for the lane assist. It is a little bit glary because of all the, uh, you can see that, all the lights. There's a light and rain sensor there. We have a speaker on the top of the dash with ambient lights. You can see the number. This car came from the friends. You know that Thanks to engraving of the VIN number, it's for anti-theft. We have the 360 system on this one. Uh, so we have a black metallic side mirrors and roof. Also comes with a glass roof on the top. It's a one piece, it's not openable. And then we have this aluminum roof racks. You can see those dots over there where you can put, if you need to put uh, a box on the top. Now if I back up, you can see a little bit the profile of the car. It's stylish and elegant. Tinted windows on the rear. We have a little chrome on the top following the C-pillar. And then voila, look at this beautiful back end. I gotta say, I love the LED datum running lights on the front, especially on the rear. These LEDs are quite distinguished design. Look at this inside. Yes, very distinguished. Yes, I see, I see. So that is gorgeous. Uh, you also have this inside turns into dynamic turn signals going up. Have really just amazing details inside and this just gives the whole car a little bit more premium look. You can see fog lights and reverse lights on the rear. There is a exhaust pipe on the left side and it's interesting they painted the whole exhaust tip and the pot in black you also have this diffuser on the bottom that's not piano black plastic so a little bit more robust forgot to mention the spoiler it's extending through the body we have the shark fin on the top of course and we have the astral have the badge with the different on the rear still looks very high quality finish have the rear wide lens for the back of camera, white LED license plates, and if you press here, it is manual. 
open this up. Let me back up so you can see the whole car. So there we go. So that is fairly spacious. Now, the top end opens fairly tall. So I am a two meter tall person. So on the both ends, you can close this manually. On the top, it's plain, so there's nothing on the top. You can remove the top shelf. So you can put an umbrella here, look at this, like a longer umbrella as rubber stopper so it doesn't make a thing sound when it closes. You can knock down the seats 60-40 or it looks more like 80-20 perhaps this shelf is or this seat is a little bit wider. Now just to look on the inside on the right side we can knock down by pulling here the seats you have grocery hooks there and on the left you have a 12 volt outlet in addition to the same opening the seats and grocery hook you have one light on the left side there is a fair space here on the side on both ends so you can put a golf clubs there are tether points here and here and to the loading area there are four fingers of height so four centimeters give or take and then on the inside if I take this out, you can see the whole space. This is fairly light, so you can remove that. And you can see that, how it looks. Now, it's falling down, but if I hold my hand, you can see you get another extra five fingers. So maybe with the this, this shelf also, maybe one finger, you would get like 10 fingers of height or 10 centimeters. And you can see here, you get a batching kit but no spare tire let's close it up and once again you can see those have a smaller wiper now interesting detail really long doors for the fuel cap I'm not sure what's the reason for this maybe some models get add blue here or I don't know so you can see that recommended run minimum 95 or 98 and there's there's no like a little cap this covers the fuel cap i believe when you lock the car this is locked so someone cannot steal your fuel now let's get on the rear so i would say solid opening and closing sound maybe the door handles I could use some uh, rubber stopper so they don't make ding noises you can see double ceiling so it's pretty good going all the way down and the doors are look at this going all the way down so when you're washing your car that's a good thing won't be too much water residue there checking the rear hard plastic this is nice and soft this is soft so we have some white stitching have some sort of uh, it's plastic but kind of aluminium look finish have some speaker on the top this is interesting black piano black handle there to open up automatic power windows and have here uh, some space kind of looks narrow i'm not sure if you can fit a water bottle in there and a speaker at the bottom now these are factory tint, you can see the Roman 5 there. And the front doors open fairly wide if you need to put a child seat. Checking those seals as well, okay. Now, uh, if you want to knock down the seats, you would have to pull this tab. But it is a little bit harsh, it's a new car. Automatically pushes down, so you can see when the seat is down, how that looks. You can see it's not completely flat on the back, but it's okay if you need to put some longer cargo. You have the rear tether point there. And look at this, the seat belt is in the way, so you'll have to watch out for that one. And as you might notice, that seat is reclined more. So using this guy, you can tilt the seat a little bit backwards if you want to. You can see the top 
banner roof. Let's sit inside. So I was in the front and I lowered the seat to the lowest position. So we have plenty of feet room, plenty of knee room. Have in mind, I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. And the little net here, this is all covered by leather. Feels very, very solid and posh inside. This is soft as well. You have the AC vents here. Two USB-Cs for fast charging. This is plain. Now the transmission tunnel is a little bit wide. It's not too tall, but uh, it might be a little bit tight if you need to squeeze a third person on the back. Now it's a little bit hot, so I'm sweating. You can see this is very soft and the seats are quite comfortable. Look at all this padding and design of the seats. So it looks very comfortable on the rear. Of course, you can adjust the headrest and just cutting it to forget. So we have the armrest in the middle. This is plasticky, but this is the rest is nice and soft. And of course, uh, there is no ski opening. And looking here, you have very really long uh, windows, fairly tall. You have a C pillar, so it is a little bit narrow on the end. And look at this cloth. It looks also padded, looks very nice. And over here you have the slowly closing all four sides. You have the hooks there. You have a little light. It's not a touch light. Can't press it though. And no hooks on the B pillar, but you do have the adjustable seat belt height. That's good. Let's hear the closing sound. So the door is kind of smashed, but it's not bad closing sound. Now this is the front look. Oh la la, look at that. Looks very nice. I'm gonna come there in a moment. So, uh, headspace, good headspace, but I'm hitting the glass roof. Now, I'm not sure if this is standard, but uh, if it's not, then if you want more headspace, you should definitely not option the panel roof, but it does give a lot of light inside, so the space looks more open. And if you have, if you have kids, uh, you should definitely go for the roof. Okay, uh, those are the details. Yeah, this doesn't open or anything like that. Uh, let's go to the front. So it's also nice and easy to exit or enter the car since it's uh, nice and tall. Now, there are no keyless opening, but you can see here you can pop this uh, guy there. And I think there's a physical key cylinder in there. And you can see also you have a blind spot in the side mirrors and a blind spot warning. Okay, closing and opening sound. Uh, front doors open more wider. Uh, same seals as on the rear. Now you do have a tire pressure information here. If you have more luggage, more passengers, you need to have a higher tire pressure. Now this is softly padded. And on the front, you have Harman Kardon speakers. Now this looks quite posh. Also same design. So only the difference is the top is padded and you have an ambient light here. So uh, checking the rear, there's no ambient lights on the rear. Unfortunately, let me just make sure. Yeah, definitely, as you can see, no ambient lights there. Now you can see here, you can fold the mirrors, adjust them electronically, they're all automatic and you can lock the rear for the kids. Again, the water bottle design uh, pockets here, not that good, I don't know, maybe you should put it like this, but then it goes back and forth when you're braking and accelerating. Okay, so let's check these, we have the electronic seats, back and forward, up and down, tilt of the top. I guess this is for the lumbar and hmm, not sure what this is for. Maybe there's a massage option. Uh, again, there's no spec sheet. Have the Astral original carpets. Now checking the seats, it's really small bolsters on the bottom. So we have this kind of um, interesting, it's not yellow, but it's some sort of, a, I don't know the name of the color in the English, honestly. Uh, we have perforated leather, but the padding is very nice. Uh, these are wide bolsters, so I know it's a taboo topic, but 
but for some people who have maybe issues with uh, weight these are sometimes more comfortable because you don't have bolsters that are squeezing you and interesting headrest design it's kind of going uh, towards out you can see the banner roof and the top over here there's a little space there maybe you can put a uh, garage opener electronic parking brake and auto fold and we have here lane assist traction off and i guess the elimination for the uh, cluster there steering column is manual let's sit inside and of course uh, normal automatic paddles now switching to wide lens and voila so as mentioned uh, Megan uh, electric same cockpit same dash which is really impressive unfortunately in this model you can see that there's a battery saving mode we've asked for the key but the infotainment wouldn't turn on we would need to turn on the engine but since we're in a closed area uh, that's not an option so let's uh we're gonna zoom back in just checking the dash love the dash it looks really premium you have google maps here and here it's amazing i was really blown away with that but now since you have it in other cars or it will be available i'm super happy with that uh, zooming back in i can see something went wrong with the camera focus okay no problem now let's check the steering wheel so this is the one we saw again uh, flat top and bottom now this is a very smooth leather so there's not too much texture texture on it it is perforated on the bottom inside part a little piano black there new badge and then we have the cruise control options here speed limiter distance we have the multi-sense so you can check the driving mode here uh, or change them you have here view for the screen options you have here for the screen options as well the voice commands phone calls and your favorites uh, this are your events quite unique design now someone would say there's a lot of piano black but these are actually screens there's a little piano black there and there not too much i think this would pass in my book now this it has a air vent to the side there's a speaker in the close to the a pillar again interesting design pattern on the a pillars love it hard this is soft carbon card now I, now I thought these were ambient lights but i'm thinking this might be the screen reflection yeah this is aluminium looking like yeah there's a screen behind us so it's kind of reflecting colors my mistake and you can see here this is of course not a real wood i think it's not but if it is uh imitation it's a good imitation so soft and then going hard at the bottom but you have a little piano black there and there are two air vents towards the passenger on the front press here slowly uh opening spacious uh, glove box and there's a flint inside so it looks nice there are no usbs or uh, climate unfortunately i would like climate to be standard but furniture uh, introduced that and then they decided to remove it uh, back on the steering wheel not to forget you have these sport paddles which you're probably never going to use uh, you have your light switches there turn signals uh, wiper controls and then this is your automatic so i guess you press for the park and then up and down for reverse control and drive uh, you have the start stop engine here and you have the uh, start stop off and you have here for the volume and press to mute source mode and here to switch stations not a huge fan of that solution i think they should have added here a knob that's just my personal opinion you can press here to turn it on and are off and you then have for the volume on the bottom you have ac controls these are all very nice you have physical controls for the direction maximum blow rear defrost on off or fan speed ac and air direction you have the hazards here now you can see the screen came on but again it doesn't want to turn on you can lock or unlock from the inside now this is just hard plastic it's imitating leather they even added stitches actually this is leather i think but it's just not padded it's 
plastic covered by leather. And over here we have USB C for media and a towel outlet. And uh, this is a little bit rubberized. And on the bottom as well, you have adjustable two cup holders. Again, a little piano black, but not too much. And then this, this is your wireless charging pad. This is far faster charging. And then you push this so you can see how that sounds and looks. And there's a decent cubby area here. It's plain plastic, but it's spacious. And hard, but then this is soft. You can press here. And there's, this is also plain plastic. Uh, but you can see there's also fair room inside. There are these, so if you put a cable and we can squash in between. And once again, the seats do feel comfy. You can adjust the headrest, but they're kind of sticking out a little bit. Now moving to the top, uh, you have the baseless mirror. It looks very premium. Passenger airbag information on the top. And is this? Uh, no, it looks like a little sensor perhaps or something similar. If you press here, uh, you have glasses compartment. It's plastic inside. But look at this. If you do it like that, then you have a mirror for your passengers. If you're taxiing, if you have kids, uh, similar. And you have the emergency call. You have the shade open or closing. You have the lights and some sensors or speakers on the top. This is some sort of different, uh, but it's black. It's a nice contrast. You have a light here and your privacy mirror, documents holder. If this extends, let's check it out. So this area is not covered and it doesn't extend. Now for a two meter tall person, plenty of headspace despite the glass roof on the front. So guys, cutting this in, you can see the point of view. We got the infotainment working finally. You can see the ambient lights uh, on the front and the doors, unfortunately, not available on the rear. You can see everything, uh, the buttons illuminate white. Uh, let's zoom back in and check the screen. It is not flashing in person. It's only on the camera. So over here, you can see uh, Google Maps. Uh, you can change here with this. Uh, you can see music eco monitor, uh, distance traveled, trip computer, your uh, uh, fuel consumption and uh, messages there. But you can remove that and over here you can change the views. So in this one, you probably get speed. You can have a classical dials or you can have the maps in front of you. Uh, you can have both maps on the digital cockpit and the main screen. And over here, you can press. So you can see here, personal, comfort, eco, sport, and also over here. You can change them on the screen or on the steering wheel uh, button. Now, uh, to check over here, uh, we have the same infotainment uh, as the Megan E-Tech or the electric version of, of the Megan, uh, but it's, this is next level infotainment. Uh, it's powered by Google and it's very fast, responsive, so it has a good um, chipset and uh, high quality resolution screen and it works excellent. It's fast. So uh, let me show you here on the bottom, you have AC controls, but they're disabled. I think you need a key to start that. Uh, on the top, we have here some uh, messages. You can clear them. You have uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi uh, information, and uh, the profile. You can see your name, picture, profile picture, uh, account, and Google account. You can link those. You have multiple profiles. So in case you have if it's a family car or a company car, then you can manage profiles, accounts, and use it as a guest. Um, on the top, you have temperature, outside temperature and time. And um, so let's come to the maps on the top. You can see Google Maps, excellent screen. It's very sharp. You can zoom in. It's very responsive. Uh, you can look at this. It, this is, I would say this is even a bit faster than maybe my Tesla. Uh, it's amazing. This might have the newest generation of the processor. I'm not sure 
if uh, they're using AMD maybe or the Intel, but it's definitely fast. You can see that. You can orient here north or how you like that. Um, we have a Google Assistant on the bottom, uh, extra driving information. Uh, if you go to the music here, loading content, uh, have radio stations and so on. Um, I'm not sure if the reception is here good. And uh, you can here have a uh, type of Harman Kardon speaker sounds, concert, studio, immersive, uh, lounge, or club. And you can here control where you want the sound. Uh, you can control the balance feeder, uh, tone controls, middle triple, and volume speed. And let's go to the phone. You can, of course, connect your smartphone with the Bluetooth. Uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for those of you who are uh, Apple team. Uh, Android team is gonna feel more like home because this is powered by uh, Google. Uh, I'm not gonna go through these. Uh, you have Device Manager, Play Store, you can download some apps, Google Assistant, Maps, it's the same thing. Uh, but uh, I think you can rearrange these apps perhaps. And over here, car that you saw, you can configure comfort, uh, steering, low, medium, high, vehicle dynamics, normal comfort, and sport. Uh, life on board, uh, ambient lights. Uh, you can customize these. Uh, so, personal or changing. Light intensity, so you can increase the brightness. And normal or eco on the climate. So it adapts on the time of the day, and you have 48 colors, so that's cool. You can change the colors here, you can see that, all oh, the color spectrum. So that's cool. And the way back. So it changes the color of the comfort, and it changes the color of the screen there. So you can definitely play with that. Uh, consumption you can get here day by date uh, liters per 100 kilometers 360 camera it's disabled I think and the hands-free parking assistance because you need to turn on the car you need to use the key for that you can see here uh, you can have massage seats a lumbar relaxing or dynamic seat easy access visual feedback uh, you can save your driver profile uh, air quality you can see here air purifier and Auto air recirculation, beautiful animations, uh, driving eco. Uh, here are some like trip information. You can uh, uh, track your score. And then you have new, new trip history. You can save or coaching. It's going to give you some uh, tips on uh, economically driving. Uh, driving assistance over here. We have the uh, follow distance. We have the uh, blind spot have the driver monitor alert system lane keeping assist you can see that lane departure warning lane cross prevention departure anticipation high and or medium medium <clears throat> medium lane keeping uh, system speed management you can here have a, a threshold and display risk areas adjust speed limits uh, advanced safeties warning standard uh, late or early and uh, if we go to the parking assistance you can see here front side rear sound uh, and you can see all of that but love the animation uh, I think Renault has made a huge step up and uh, besides Tesla this is one of the best screens in my opinion uh, outside you can see I'm just gonna go through these cockpit screen you control here favorites on the steering wheel uh, audio driving echo you can edit the widgets you can have tire pressure air quality date and time audio hands-free parking you can add those uh, tire pressure and updates uh, there are over the air updates you can see how this fast is turning it's a good refresh rate car is updated already update history you can see all the updates recent and you can see the information uh, and the VIN number there. Now 
Uh, to wrap it up, um, settings, we have here sound, uh, units. Uh, this is all uh, network and internet, hotspot, Wi-Fi, and a location, app notifications. I'm not going to go through all of these. You can see the storage here. Uh, so there's some system storage, uh, apps, and music. So I think there's an internal SSD, profile uh, protection, and Google information and system. So you can see that. You can reset that. So that was the whole infotainment really impressed uh, i think you're gonna love this new infotainment i'm gonna wrap it up because uh, other people would like to see the car as well now uh, we're gonna exit and check the uh, bonnet uh, i just want to say that the overview through the mirrors is uh, good although they're not adjusted for me personally i think the rear view is a bit narrow i'd like to show you that but just in a moment until they close it and you can see the overview is quite narrow. Now, uh, let's get it out and pop the bonnet. So, if you open up, it's just above the badge. You press it to the left side. And uh, it has gas struts, so you can see everyone's looking at the car now. As soon as I start filming, so you can see if I back up the whole car and the engine bay. Let's come a little bit closer. So, I believe this is the petrol. I'm not sure if this is a mild hybrid, probably no. But uh, you can see that I do not wash your car with a pressure washer, at least not the engine bay. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to ask for the specs and leave the uh, spec in the uh, video description. You can see that pushes to the left. Now, this push it down and close this perfectly now I'd like to hear your opinions about the new Astral I like the car so tell me in the comments how you like it and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel click the little bell and get notified and you have to click on all otherwise you won't get notifications so there's more cars in Sofia Auto Show subscribe to see more thanks for watching bye